Today's lunch is dakji somyeon and kongnamulguk. Okay, so you take some noodles and then you take some dakji. Mix it together and then you eat it. My mom told me that this is a dish that she would make really often when she was a newlywed. She loves hosting people, so she said that she would always make this and it tastes really good. Okay, now for the best part of the meal, we're going to use the leftover sauce to make bokkeumbap. I just got home and my mom made pungopang. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. She filled it in with her homemade grape jelly and this is green tea kombucha. And it says on the tea bag, without gratitude, there is no prosperity. Alrighty, let's try it. You can see the grape jam on this side. Mmm. In one of my Kwangja market vlogs, I went to go get pungopang and they put in a lot of different stuff. Like they had a strawberry jam and cream cheese and sweet potato flavor. That was one. They had a pizza flavor. They had the regular red bean flavor and they had custard flavor. My mom made grape jam flavor. This video was actually supposed to be another what I eat in a week video, but I will be getting my visa this week, so this will just end up being my last vlog in the US. By the time this video goes live, I should be heading out to Seoul the, within that week. My parents are so sad. So I'm just gonna try to spend as much time with them before I leave. Even when my parents dropped me off for New York, I told my mom just jokingly, I was like, mom, don't cry because I was gonna be gone for five days. And she's already like tearing up, so I don't know how she's gonna handle me moving back to Korea. Yeah, so this week, I'm just gonna be enjoying my mom's cooking and just hanging out with them a lot. And yeah. Mmm. Today's lunch is tengul bulgogi alfredo tengulcini and we have a grapefruit aid. 
This is a new K-pasta from Samyang Foods and it's called Tangle because Tangle in Korean means bouncy. So this is the combination of the words Tangle and fettuccine, which makes Tangluccini. This is the sweet and creamy bulgogi flavor. It comes with a large seasoning flick packet and my mom added hot pepper soup because I really, 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 really like spicy food. I ate this without the hot peppers in it and it wasn't spicy at all. So if you can't handle spicy, this will be okay for you. The best part about Tangluccini is that it's not fried. It's actually air dry so this is a much healthier option. The noodles are quite bouncy and when you eat it, it's really silky too. So good. It's super simple to make. You just boil the pasta noodles and the flakes for a few minutes and then add the sauce and the powder. You can even add other ingredients like garlic or green onion to add more flavor to it or you can add hot peppers to make it spicy. I feel like adding mushrooms in here will be really good too. If you also want to try tangluccini, you can find them at your local H Mart. If you happen to come across it, I hope you think of me and try it out. Yay! All done, and I'm gonna head out to go pick up my visa. called Kyo Matcha in the Falls Church area and I just got my dessert. I really wanted to check out this cafe before I left Virginia because look at this cool ube towel cake and this mall. Okay, let me put this down. Whoa, look at how cool this is. I was so curious about this. Alrighty, let's try it. Tonight's dinner, my mom made rose-shaped mandu. You can eat it as a soup or you can eat it plain and just dip it in soy sauce. The green part is actually made out of spinach. Peace. 
my clothes look real good on you. T-shirt with the rainbow stripe. Good morning from somewhere in Virginia. I came to pick chestnuts with my parents. It's a really beautiful day. Let me show you guys. We are here in the countryside. <laughs> Wow, you guys, look at all these chestnuts. Look inside. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. So these chestnuts are here on the trees, but we're not allowed to pick these ones off. Only the ones on the ground. But look at them. Wow. is a luxury. Also seeks your company. Wow, you guys, look at this. <gasps> it's so big. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm back at UVA! I haven't been here since 2016 when I graduated. I actually didn't even go to my own graduation. I am at the corner right now. We are stopping by for lunch because UV is on the way back home from the chestnut place. First stop is Marco and Luca. I love their dumplings and noodles. UVA in the fall is very, very beautiful. My parents are talking about how this place reminds them of Princeton when we lived there back in the day. Okay, I'm here at the lawn. Here is the rotunda. Wow, it feels so nostalgic being back. I used to study right over there. That's old Cabo, that's the music building. So I would always be over there for classes. <gasps> ah, wow. Here we are right now. No longer 17. Oh, have we been around? Years on us and a new bell as the sea. So we hear that I still appear inside your dream land. Wind that I still appear inside your sleep. And does he know about our time inside your ramp cycle? And that I'm on the way where the night goes. Tell me what time to pick you up. Cause I wanna see your face. Thank you so much. 
Okay, we got home from Yuvia pretty early, so my mom is currently preparing to make yakbap. These are the ingredients that go in it, and these are the chestnuts that we just picked. We steamed some a little bit, and they taste so good. <laughs> Alrighty, it's tea time. My mom finished the yakbap. Isn't it so cute? And we have tea from Jeju. I don't think like that, she says to me. I can't help but feel the subtleties. Mm. Chestnuts are so sweet. I love yakbap. Wow, this pumpkin weighs 1,286 pounds. The last meal of this video is kechige. You guys, my mom makes the best kechige ever. This is one of my favorite dishes that my mom makes. And we have uwang pokum on the side and gakdugi. I just finished eating dinner. I am so full right now. Just to wrap up this video, I will be heading to Seoul within a few days after this video goes live. So I'm just gonna spend the next few days packing a lot. I have so much to pack. There are so many logistics to figure out. Uh, apartment hunting, getting my new ARC, going to the bank, figuring out health insurance and all of that once I get to Korea. It's gonna be a pretty busy two, three weeks. So I'll see you guys in Korea. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Your masterpiece My clothes look real good on your T-shirt with the rainbow strap